Now, everybody thinks of pigs as big, ugly brutes, but here at Pennywell Fab, they're breeding these little beauties. Don't worry, we're not going to market. Chris, what's so special about these pigs? Well, they're miniature pigs. They're Pennywell miniatures. You won't get them anywhere else, and they stay handleable for a long time. They also have very special natures. They're very kind, friendly. They come in multicolours, and they make the perfect pet. How big will these actually grow? About the size of a small Labrador or a Springer Spaniel. I'd probably name this one um, Judy. It's very quiet and it's lovely, it's quite cute. That one I'd probably name Richard. <laughs> All right, Richard. That's just as well, he's a little boy. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Chris, what will happen to these pigs when they're older and they're um, on their last legs? Will they... Uh... Well, they'll last for at least eight years. A pig isn't just for breakfast. And, um, if you're you know, lucky, you'll have some leftover supper. <laughs> <laughs> now, these obviously have gone down a storm here, I can imagine, with the kids. They're brilliant. They're the most successful animal we've ever had. I never knew that pigs were so popular. Oh. Would you like to take one home? Yeah. People just think they're smelly animals, but they're not. It's got a nose like yours. If you just put your nose up like that. Look, there's, look. So what do you think of this one? I like piggies. You like piggies? What will you be asking Father Christmas for this year? Pig, pig. 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 Or would you rather be a pig? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a pig, you may grow up to be a pig. This is Mike McLean for Richard and Julia.